Hey, Todd Usher with Addison Homes, and today we are gonna do some forensic investigation on some comfort issues. So we're here in Clemson, South Carolina, looking at some condominiums behind me. As many of you know, I teach in the construction department at Clemson part-time, and I got called over here to this building because some students that live in the condo on the top floor have some comfort complaints. One of the bedrooms is extremely cold in the winter, and then one of their roommates has a complaint that their bedroom is very hot in the summer. So we're gonna take our infrared camera, thermal imaging camera, and we're gonna go upstairs, take a look, and see if we can find any issues with the insulation in this building. The building was built back in 2004. Chances are we may find some issues here that may have been in existence since the very beginning. Come on, let's take a look. So, hey, we come inside to see if we can find out what's going on in here. And we've got the uh, thermal camera. So this sees temperature, not light. And we're checking out the ceiling in the main area of this apartment that has no comfort issues and everything looks normal. So we can see some cold spots where the framing is, but overall we can tell that the building is insulated pretty well. However, when we step back to the bedroom where we've had some comfort complaints, the story is completely different. As we come back here, we're seeing with the infrared camera that our ceiling temperature is getting a lot colder, which tells me we probably either have very poor insulation up top or we might have no insulation in the attic. As we come into this bedroom, which is where the complaint has, has been, we're seeing extremely cold temperatures to the tune of about 10 degrees difference surface temperature on the attic ceiling surface in this bedroom than in the rest of this apartment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the attic and we're gonna see what we find. I bet that we'll find some areas with little or no insulation. So let's go take a look. Okay, so we're up here in the attic and uh, I can't wait to show you what we found. So on this side of the attic, we've got normal blown fiberglass insulation. Not the thickest, so they just did what was required by code, probably R30. And you can see this, uh, this is just blown fiberglass. Doesn't do any air sealing, but it's a very good insulation product for an attic. But look over here. This is the ceiling over the area where we were. What we find over on this side is that there is absolutely no insulation. So probably an area that's maybe 300 square feet above this unit has zero insulation. And I'm gonna shine my, my flashlight back so you can see all the way to the eave in the back, we have no insulation whatsoever. There could be a number of reasons for this. I think the most likely is probably that the insulation crew ran out of material while they were insulating this attic and probably had every intention to come back and finish the job but simply forgot about it. This is a huge complex with a lot of units and they probably closed up the attic and, and forgot to come back and do the insulation. These units are several years old, so no doubt that there have been complaints about the comfort in this bedroom and, uh, and the other bedroom on the front that we'll look at in a minute for years but likely no one has come up and done a thorough investigation. Another spot we had concern about up here in the attic is the front bedroom in this building that has a little reverse gable roof. And when we were looking at it with the thermal camera, we could see that part of the ceiling was uninsulated or had very little, and the other part seemed fine. So we suspected that this is what happened, and that is the main roof of the building comes down and then there's a reverse gable off of it. And frequently the framers will put sheathing over that main roof before they frame the reverse gable. And we were afraid that maybe that had restricted access to that small area on the ceiling over the reverse gable out front. Looks like it actually wasn't the case. We have an opening here, but it's so small and so low to the ceiling that the insulators didn't see it and realized that they needed to blow insulation back into that space. We'll talk a little bit about why 
we didn't have substantial comfort complaints in this front bedroom, it faces south, but we did have comfort complaints in the rear bedroom facing north, both that had compromised insulation on top. So it's pretty amazing what the thermal camera allows us to see from below that we can then just come upstairs and validate above. This is the front bedroom in this unit, and we also have some comfort complaints in here, but not so much in the winter. We have comfort complaints in this bedroom in the summer. But when we took the thermal camera in and inspected the ceiling in this room, about half of this ceiling is uninsulated. So we went up in the attic and we verified that. No insulation on the front half of the ceiling. So we kind of thought, all right, why aren't we getting comfort complaints in here in the winter, just like we do in the back bedroom? And then it hit us. Looking at the orientation of this building, this room faces due south. So we get all this great winter sun warming from outside into this bedroom, and we don't notice so much that there's no insulation in the attic. But in the summer, sun's still in the southern sky, but overhead, then this attic gets really hot and the occupant of this bedroom has some real comfort issues in the summer. Hey, so we had a great, great day today doing some forensic investigation of the building science reasons behind the comfort issues in this condominium. I love solving problems that relate to building science. This has been a blast for me. We're gonna be able to recommend an easy solution to the owner that they can have their HOA come in, blow some additional insulation, and we'll have these students back to their studies in a comfortable condo in no time flat. If you enjoyed this video, follow us, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next one.